It's an atmosphere of grief at the Embassy of the United Kingdom in Kampala following the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II yesterday. The Queen died peacefully at Balmoral Castle on Thursday afternoon at the age of 96. Her death shocked many people across the world. The British High Commissioner to Uganda, Kate Airy, told CTV that Her Majesty has been the longest serving great leader and indeed has been a great servant. Um, today is um, a profoundly sad day for um, the British people, for the people of the realms, for the people of the Commonwealth, for people across the world. Um, her Majesty the Queen was our longest serving ever monarch at 70 years on the throne. She has seen phenomenal change over that time of coming to the throne in 1952. Um, and I think one of the things that has been profoundly moving over the last few hours has just been the outpouring of messages of condolence, of admiration, of love for Her Majesty. Um, from leaders, world leaders past and present, from people across society in all countries of the world. Kate says since British had many of their colonies under the Commonwealth, the late Queen has been taking other countries as part of a big family in terms of cooperation. She was a remarkable leader, um, a public servant who put duty and service above all else and is an inspiration absolutely to many. She is also, and we need to remember this today, a mother, a grandmother, a great grandmother. And um, we at the British High Commission offer our profound condolences to the royal family at uh, this period uh, of time. To the British people living in Uganda, Kate extended condolences to them. Uh, the links between the UK and Uganda are broad and they are deep and they are strong. Um, this is a, a difficult time to be away from home. Um, uh, we are uh, recognised that not just for the British community, actually because of Her Majesty's unique role within the Commonwealth, many Ugandans also uh, have a deep, profound feeling Uganda is a country that respects monarchy and again that connection with the British monarchy is very real. As the world mourns, flags at the British Embassy are flying at half-mast. The Queen steered the monarchy through turbulent times as Britain's empire ended and its place in the world fundamentally changed. She was head of state of the UK and 14 other countries including Australia, Canada and Jamaica.